So in this video we are going to be looking at derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions and uh, we are going to be looking at the basic um, uh, trigonometric functions of tan, sine and cosine. So let's begin with the first one, the derivative of arctan of x. And the way I like to do this is by first letting this tan arc of x to be some other variable like y. So let's do the first one. Oops, let's get the pen here. Okay, so let's do the first one. The derivative of arctan of x, I'm going to let y to be equal to arctan of x. And of course, when I do this, I can put tan here and tan here. So if I do that, then it follows that tan of y equals x. Now, what does this mean to us? It means, now we can take derivatives on both sides, of course. The derivative of tan x, uh, sorry, the derivative of tan y is 6 squared y. So I'll go ahead and do that, 6 squared y. But this is y, so I've got to do that with respect to x. So 6 squared y, dy dx. The derivative of x is dx. So I write that as dx. That means, uh, okay. I've got to do this much better. If I say dy dx here, then this is just a 1. Okay. That's fine. So the derivative of our function y, which is arctan of x, with respect to x, that's going to be 1 divided by sec squared y. But you know very well from the basic trigonometric identities of Pythagoras theorem that uh, 1 plus, so let me use another color here just to make it better. So we know very well that, the, uh, that 1 plus tan squared of y, that's going to be 6 squared y. So instead of 6 squared y, I'm going to replace it with 1 plus tan squared y. So we have dy over dx equals 1 divided by 1 plus tan squared y. But you recall that we said tan y is equal to x from here. So I'm going to substitute for x in this case. And we'll have 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. And what is our function y? y is actually arctan of x. So the derivative the derivative of arctan of x is going to be 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Okay, so this is a nice one. Let's go ahead and do the second one. So this derivative is 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Let's do the second one. So let's do this. So just like we've done the previous one, I'll also let y to be equal to arc sine of x. This implies that sine y, okay, sine y equals x. If we take derivatives on both sides, then we have cos cosine of y with respect to y equals the derivative of x that's going to be dx so we have that dy dx dy over dx this is going to be okay sorry about that so this is going to be 1 divided by cos y now here comes the problem what is the value of cos y because we want the derivative in terms of x so I'm going to go ahead and show you something here. From this, okay, just get another color here. From this, I can draw this triangle here. Okay, 
So here, this means I have the angle as y. Of course, we know that sine of an angle is opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So the opposite is x and the hypotenuse is 1. So the adjacent to this angle is 1 minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. So from here, I know what cosine of y is. Cosine of y is going to be the cosine of y is the adjacent, which is square root of 1 minus x squared divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1. So the cosine is square root of 1 minus x squared. And I'm going to substitute for that here. So the derivative dy dx is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. So that's the derivative of arc sine of x. Okay, so one more to go. So I'll grab this to create space. So I'll write our final answer here. This is 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. So let's do this, the last one. I will let some variable like y, let's just keep using y, so I'll let y equal to cos arc of x, then I'll find the derivative, uh, sorry, I'll put cos on both sides, so I multiply the cosine function on both sides, we have cosine of y equals x, I can find the derivative from here, we know the derivative of cos is negative sine y this is with respect to x if you like the derivative of x is simply one so what shall we have here uh, this is going to be dy dx so dy over dx equals negative 1 divided by sine of y, okay? Still, we have a derivative uh, of sine, sorry, a derivative of cosine uh, arc of x, but it is in terms of y, and we want to put that in terms of x. So, I will draw this triangle once more. So, from here, cos y equals x. I can draw this nice right angled triangle <clears throat> so this is our angle y if cosine of y equals x remember cosine is adjacent so that's got to be our adjacent because this is the same as x over 1 so the hypotenuse in this case is 1 so the opposite is the square root of 1 minus x squared if you use Pythagoras theorem so I can find what sine y is. Sine y is 1. Okay, that's opposite. So that's opposite. The opposite is square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. There's nothing in here. So divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1. So sine of y is square root of 1 minus x squared. I'll go ahead and plug that here. So we'll have negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so this is how we find derivatives to inverse trigonometric functions. And if you can get the derivatives of these three basic trigonometric functions, then you can do all the other interesting inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, for example, you could go ahead and find derivatives like this. You can now find derivatives of functions like cosec, cosec arc of x using these three basic rules. Okay, so go ahead and try out some of these, like the derivative of sec arc of x. 
and uh, let me know what your experience is in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you sometime